Okay, we will start our uh, Facebook live discussion now. Tonight's topic is about uh, how do we minimize COVID uh, virus attack. You notice that most of the advice from the expert they focus very much on the personal hygiene. That is, uh, wear mask and wash your hand. These are very basic uh, hygiene, which are certainly very necessary. But at the same time, you may have uh, heard that the best way to prevent virus attack is our immune system. Dajia most experts do not mention too much how do we improve our immune system. This is the uh, challenge. Because in Western medicine, immune system is rather an uh, abstract concept. They could not give a very concrete clue as to how do we improve our immune system. And on this aspect, the 3,000 years ancient wisdom offer us hundreds of ways how we can improve our immune system. And most of these methods are actually very simple. Bing In the ancient wisdom, 3,000 years ago, they do not have this term called immune system. They have their own uh, terminology. And in Chinese, it is called zheng qi. The words used by the ancient wisdom, they do not have the term called immune system, but they call it true qi and there is this saying that zheng qi nei chun xie bu ke gan it means that if you have the true qi in your body system no evil qi can attack you the evil qi refer to virus or those harmful germs Now the question is, what do you mean by true qi? How do we improve or strengthen our true qi? So this is what our discussion will be mainly about tonight. So when we talk about true qi, the notion of qi is very critical because qi in the ancient wisdom include many things 
and one of the definition of qi is qi is something so small that there is nothing smaller inside that means qi can consist of atom, molecule or virus because virus is so small so the idea is if the qi is a true qi or it is a positive qi then you will not get any virus attack So we will leave this notion on one side first and we will use some example to explain. Kuranso 氣的定義是氣小無內氣的意思是說它小到沒有在更小的東西了當然他們是到時候有東西非常小的是有毒的好我們先回到專家人的勸告說要戴口罩 we go back to the expert who advised us we need to wear mask 2 wear masks, there are two key purposes. One is to prevent the droplets which may contain virus that we may inhale. And the other purpose is, if we are not feeling well, we should not spill out our cough or droplet which may contain virus Okay, others. Okay, so now you wear the mask as a primary and uh, necessary hygienic uh, prevention. But we also know that the virus is so small, there is no guarantee that the mask can prevent the entry of virus into your body system and one of the entry is to our nose so our nose should also have its own defense system to filter out whatever may be the harmful virus or harmful germ so the next question is how well is the nose functioning? In the same that the nose should have its own original natural filtration system to filter out any harmful germ or virus. So how do you take care of your nose besides wearing masks? You notice that the nostril consists of hair, which is a defense system. It tries to block off as much harmful material. And over time, the nostril accumulates a lot of dust, polluter, or the mucus that may trap some harmful germ or virus so how do you clear up this 
top thing in your nose. So this is something we need to do regularly to clear our nose. Any suggestion? We know that Bingu 这么说，这个鼻子的功能呢，是非常重要的。所以你怎么去清除这些鼻子一路来累积了不少的毒素或者是肮脏的东西呢？其实有很有一个很简单的方法。So there is a very simple way to clear the the nose, which trap a lot of polluted germ or virus. That is by sneezing. So you deliberately induce sneeze to clear the nose. Now, for those people who often have a nose problem, either nose block or they are sticky to certain item like pollen, certain type of smell, then it means your nose function is unbalanced. In ancient wisdom, they don't say there is a sickness or disease in your nose. They just say your nose is not well balanced, the yin yang not balanced. If the yin yang not balanced, then it cannot function well. Then we say there is lack of true qi. 如果说你的鼻子的功能不很好，有阻塞的问题，有呼吸困难的问题，或者是常常流鼻涕等等，古人说是因为你的阴阳不平衡，而不说你有生病，他是说是阴阳不平衡，阴阳不平衡就是你的
No blockage means that no blockage to qi flow. Then you are well. But if there is a blockage, then you are not well. And just now we just use a very simple example about your nose function. If your breathing is not smooth, if your nose is often blocked, or if you often have runny nose or dry nose, it indicates the qi flow is not smooth. And this weakens your defense against external pollutant, harmful germ, or virus. So far, okay? We continue with the logic. You wash your hand because the experts say that the virus can track and stay on railing or surface of area whereby you may touch and then bring the virus to your body. So the advice is you need to open, wash your hand. So far so good because that is a very basic hygiene. Now let me ask you just by washing hair if some people their hands are very sensitive to soap then regular washing hair may burden the person with their original problem secondly if you make a comparison hand of a, of a baby which is uh, full of life force, very healthy, and the hand of an old person which is very fragile and lack of life force, we say lack of yang qi. Which hand will have more chance for the virus to stay on? Will you not logically think that the hand with vibrant energy, the law of yang qi, like a young baby, have less chance for the virus to stay? Whereas the old person who is weak, then the old person's hand is not really as vibrant leg of yang qi, then the hand can trap a lot of harmful germ and virus. So with that as uh, understanding, a good practice is, beside washing your hand, is to clap your hand. Why clap your hand? Because when you clap your hand, it promote, uh, it promote uh, vibration to your hand, and it generate heat. And here I want to bring the concept of the true chi. When you hear the word chi. It is useful you associate a qi with vibration, with movement, with uh, motion. So if a living thing has a lot of uh, vibration, life force, a lot of uh, motion, unlikely the virus stay on your head.
So here I bring again the concept of true chi in the application of your hand. So you can track your hand, you can rub your hand until it is become hot. Hot signify there is a movement of chi. And it is this chi protect you. Well 如果一个是婴儿，他的手是很多活力的，他有很多的活气。如果相比一个老人的手，老人的手就衰了，他的阳气不足，阳气不足的手嘞，就很容易吸引一些毒素或者是有害的。细菌或者是病毒。然而，如果手是灵活的、有活力的，那么这些病毒或者是有害的细菌就很难在很有活力的手生存。因此，《黄帝内经》介绍你常常去。运动你的手活力的东西有心经让你的手有活力有阳气。I just explained in Chinese just now, the ancient wisdom tell us that our hand has six meridian. It consists of lung meridian, large intestine meridian, heart meridian. Small intestine meridian, perigalian, and triple warmer. So now you see that the hand itself is critically important. It's not just by washing hand alone, but you should do more to activate the chi in all these six meridians. Okay, now we go back to again to our concern about the virus attack. The most uh, vulnerable attack is our lung, the pneumonia. So if a lung has certain weakness, 
then it can attract the virus more easily. Now how do you know your lung is functioning well, especially you don't have very severe lung sickness? Let's say you don't have lung cancer, you don't have pneumonia at this moment, you look healthy. How do you know that your lung is not functioning well? Again, 3,000 years ago, ancient wisdom gave us a lot of clue. If you have constipation problem or diarrhea, basically you have excretion problem. Then it indicates your lung is not functioning well. You may be wondering what has constipation or large intestine problem got to do with lung. This is the beauty of the ancient wisdom theory. It says in Chinese, Fei He Da Chang Xiang Biao Li. It means the lung and large intestine, they are closely related, like husband and wife or cousin brothers. If there is weakness in lung, there is a weakness in large intestine. If there is a weakness in large intestine, there is a weakness in lung. So, if you do have a excretory problem like the constipation or diarrhea, it means that the lung functioning is not balanced. If your lung functioning is not in good balance, then it can attract the virus very easily. So far, do you see the connection? Because my purpose is to introduce to you the enormous amount of wisdom and theory from the ancient wisdom that connect things together. So again, just by washing your hand and wearing masks, although it's necessary hygiene, but it's really not enough to improve your immune system. If your lung is not functioning well, your lung intestine is not functioning well, then your immune system overall will not be functioning well. Is there uh, any feedback or question that you would like to pause before I continue further? Okay, let's say that you do have constipation problem and, uh, and from the theory it said that your lung chi is not functioning well. So how do we improve the lung chi so that the lung balance can be restored? In principle, there are two ways to go about improving the lung chi. One is by food therapy, and one is by facilitating the chi movement in the body. 
So how do you increase the lung chi by food therapy? Then there is another big topic as for ancient wisdom. Food therapy is not the same as the Western nutrition theory. They are totally opposite. And it is unwise to mix out the two together. The food therapy, as per the ancient wisdom, is very specific to help your organ vitality. For example, in this case, what food? When we say food therapy, what food? It means food of the nature. Not supplement. You don't need to spend money on supplement. It's just a food of nature. What type of food of nature can help to strengthen your lung function, to increase your lung chi? So you need to get the concept right. You need food to build the lung chi. Then you need to have right type of chi exercise to facilitate the chi movement of the lung. Then, only then, the lung function will be well balanced. And if your lung function is well balanced, then there is less chance for the virus to attack your lung. What other telltale sign that say that the lung function is out of balance? Again, the ancient wisdom provides us a lot of clue. Such as, if you have a skin problem, your skin, skin of your body. Skin problem is a manifestation of the lung functionality. And this is a concept that Western medicine does not have. They see skin problem as a skin problem by itself, nothing to do with lung. But the ancient wisdom gives us a correlation. Things are related to each other. So those who have sensitive skin or skin problem, this indicates a lung problem. So you need to improve the lung functionality so that you can resolve the skin problem. Not the other way around. It's not so much as you you apply medicine on your skin and you when the symptom disappears then you say, well, the problem is solved. No. The root of the problem is a lung, not your skin. And this is different theory as by ancient wisdom. There are more telltale signs to say that your lung function may be out of balance. Example, if a person is often in emotional grief, for example, a dear member of a family pass away, so this person is in grief, in sorrow. Such emotion will lower the lung function and make the lung function very weak. So now you see that you also need to take care of your emotion.
So far, I only listed a few items. There are more than that. So if you understand the ancient wisdom theory, there are many, many things you can do on your own to balance the yin and yang so that you can produce the true chi that protect you against virus attack. So I just made a brief summary. Just wearing masks, just uh, wash your hand, it's just basic hygiene. It is not enough. The key is to improve your immune system. And the Western medicine could not offer you anything concrete about how to improve your immune system. Whereas the ancient wisdom gives us hundreds of ways for you to improve the so-called immune system, which the ancient wisdom called Zheng Qi.西方的专家给我们的劝告说要戴口罩要常常洗手这个基本的卫生是不足够的因为最重要的是要提高你的免疫力的系统免疫力的系统在黄帝内廷来说就是正气我们刚才给了一些例子怎么加强我们的正气很简单的几个拍手按摩你的手为什么因为拍手或者按摩你的手它就是有六条经络的气的流动当我们讲正气的时候你要记得很重要的概念气的意思是说需要动它是一个活力来的由此可见古人给我们很多很多的方法来加强我们的正气有了正气邪不可干邪就是邪气就是病毒不能干扰我们You may have uh, heard that uh, it is a good practice to have some bath as a way to prevent the virus attack. Yishi你们也有听说过需要常常晒太阳能够帮助我们避免那个 病毒的攻击。可是这个晒太阳的概念是什么呢? What is the idea behind samba? People explain by you samba for increase your body temperature, that reduce the chance of the survival of the virus. But that is only uh, one small angle of explanation. The ancient wisdom had more elaboration. When you say sun bath, which part of your body should be exposed to the sun? The position of your body is very crucial, very critical. To the ancient wisdom. Ancient wisdom identified our body are separated into a few compartments. At the back, it is called yang. At the front, it is called yin. 
The upper part of the body is yang, and the lower part of the body is yin. So if you need to do some bow, you should not expose your front of the body to the sun. It should be the back of the body. Because the back of the body is yang. So again, it's the purpose of Sampa just to warm up the body. It will be more useful if you think in terms of true Qi. When you receive the sun energy, it activates the Yang Qi. Activate the Yang Qi means the Qi is in a vibration mode, is vibrant, is full of life, it is in motion. Again, I want to emphasize the notion or the importance of Qi that it must be in motion, in vibration, in movement. Why? Because it is a driving force. Only when the Qi is in vibrant mode, is in motion, is in, uh, uh, is in action, only then it drives the blood in your body fluid. So the importance is the vibration, the movement, and the motion of your chi, not so much rising the temperature of your body. So once you have this uh, understanding in this perspective, then there are many, many simple chi exercise to facilitate the movement of chi. Even though you may not have sun for a week. So now you see the importance understanding the theory behind and not just uh, follow certain recommendation, but once you understand the theory behind, then you can be more creative and explain more thoroughly every action that you do, in what way it can help to improve your true chi or to improve your immune system. So, so far in my discussion, I introduced uh, a few simple techniques to improve the immune system, to improve the true qi, and it can be very simple qi exercise of clapping or uh, sneezing deliberately. Bearing in mind that all this is for the purpose of activating the qi movement. The qi must be in motion and in, uh, in, move, in, in motion and in movement. Only then it drives the blood and the body fluid. If the qi movement in your body is weak, or slow, then it can trap a lot of harmful germ or virus. Whereas, if your qi movement in your body is vibrant with a lot of movement, then there is less chance for the harmful germ or harmful virus to harm your body. So far, any question that you may like to pause? Okay, I see one or two questions. Uh, 
，这边有一个呃留言是说，导致人类在痛苦中死亡中最恐怖的难受是肺功能失调。啊，这个说的很有道理，因为《黄帝内经》说肺主气，我们一生的气是肺主管。如果气停了，人就死了。所以这句话讲的很有道理。啊、uh, ，there is a message from someone who made a remark that the most、uh, miserable suffering is、uh, towards death and fear is the collapse. Of the lung function, ah,、uh, that is very true because the ancient wisdom say, lung is in charge of the whole body chi. The whole body chi system is governed by lung function. If the chi stop, we die. So in this same years. Lung function is critical, but later on, if、uh, we later on,、uh, if we have the opportunity to discuss about the relationship of the five key organs in terms of five element theory, you will find that there is no one organ that is most important. They are all dependent on each other. They all affect each other. If you have a chance, we will talk about another topic, which is the relationship between the five senses and the body. We will understand that there is no one organ that is the most important. The five senses are the body, the mind, the heart, the lungs, and the blood. They are all the same. 因为他们是互相有关系的，啊，这是五行学说的一个理论。Okay, let me see any other remark. 啊，这边有一个问题说，期待老师解释如何清除毛啊鼻毛的脏物。How do I remove the、uh, Cumulated uh, uh, pollutant or cumulated pollutant or、uh, toxin in the nostril. Well, that is a good question. Well, first you got to take care of the hygiene of the nose. 第一，你要啊注意的鼻子的卫生。还有嘞，如果说你是你的鼻子常常是干燥的，那么我建议你可以偶尔吃一些辣的东西，像辣椒，这样它它就呃导致它会会呃流鼻涕，或者是打喷嚏。当然，如果另外一个人他有鼻子的问题，他常常流鼻涕，当然你就不可以用这个方法了。So one of the、uh, recommendation that over time our nose accumulate a lot of pollutant, a lot of、uh, debris or toxin arising from the, uh, from germ or virus. How do we clear them off? And I suggest that if、uh, your nose is always on the dry side, perhaps you can eat some pungent food, chili, to induce some running nose, and then you sneeze it up, you clear it off. 
。另外一个呃方法呢，我觉得是适合每个人可以每天做的，就是拿一张小小的卫生纸，卷成一只细细的一条一条线。刺激你的鼻孔，当你刺激你的屁股的鼻孔的时候，你会自然的打喷嚏，这样你就把那个脏物喷出来了。Another method you can try, which everybody can try, to clear the debris of pollution in your nostril, is To roll a small piece of tissue paper and tickle your nostril until if you feel so ticklish that you will sneeze. So when you sneeze, you blow out the the pollutant, the debris, or the the accumulated uh, germ or mucus, uh, germ or, or virus. So that is a very natural way which you can do every day. Of course, you do it in your bathroom. You don't do it in front of people. Okay, let me see. Is there any other question? Ah,、uh, 请问。靠野生，灵芝或野生素食灵芝水喝有用处好吗？呃，关于这一方面的，我建议是不要去找这些补品什么。我们就是，因为我们每天日常生活，你的饮食，你的气的运动，你的精神，你的你的情绪的调理。来做养生，而不是靠什么，呃，什么，呃，补品啊，或者是什么药物，啊，这是我的建议。Somebody asked a question whether it is good to use a certain kind of herbs, or something like that.、And、my recommendation is that it is best not to use herbs or supplement, rather. Take care of your food therapy, and make sure the food that you consume is compatible with the body system, which we call body constituent. And then you practice your qi exercise to get the qi to move. And also, you need to balance your emotion, your life attitude, because your emotion can block your qi. Okay. So, any other more question? Okay. So far, I have、uh, used the topics of uh, the uh, how to minimize the COVID virus attack. As a topic, but actually, the use of the ancient wisdom, the theory and practice, is applicable in in any situation. Doesn't matter there is a virus attack, or doesn't matter whether you are currently having cancer, or Parkinson, or the children have autism. The principal application is the same. That is to improve your true qi. When your qi is not blocked, you will be well. You will be protected. So that is the whole idea that、uh, we need to constantly and consciously every day after understanding. The ancient wisdom theory and knowledge, and we apply it every day to improve 
our immune system or we call two qi. Again, as I say, when you hear the word qi, you need to associate with movement, vibration, light force, and only then it drives the blood, it uh, removes the toxin from your body, etc. etc. Uh, okay, typically you can see the eagle one is so Xiao Hai Si is Yong Wei Sun Su Chi Ba Di Zi the Wu Go uh Long Chu Lai Ma. Uh Xiao Hai Si Yin Kai is Kai Yon the English Xiao Hai Si Taman the Kun Nan Sir Tapuko Gao Suni. So Jokon Muchan the Yao Hun Zi see the Guan Cha Hai Si Tana Biko Zi Jian Kan the Ma Ni Yao Chi Guan Cha Tana Biko you may also Sai 饮食学说的理论能够引发不同脏腑的气因为需要辣来刺激它的肺 uh, a question pause about uh, it, 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 Isn't it not suitable to use chili or pungent food for small kids? Uh, the question is not whether uh, pungent food is not su suitable or not suitable for kids uh, As per the ancient wisdom food therapy We need the combination of five different tastes and pungent or chili is one of the tastes and then you need to have bitter taste, you need to have sweetness taste you need to have a salty taste and you need to have sour taste different tastes correspond to different organ function so if a child since young until say 10-15 years old never ever take any chili food Likely, the child's lung function is not well, it's not balanced. But it doesn't mean that you need to feed your child with chili. But in your cooking, you will know to use some pungent kind of taste. Uh, it can be ginger, it can be, uh, uh, it can be garlic and mix it uh, and cook it with certain type of vegetable and that itself also serves a function to, to provide a pungent taste uh, 这个刚才, uh, 花语我没有解释, uh, 关于 孩子适合不适合吃辣的, uh, 就不是辣的问题, 就是五味对五脏的问题, so, 关于辣的话, 做父母亲的你可以
Yeah, so far the question asked are, are all very good question. They give us uh, a lot more uh, topics for elaboration and discussion. Oh, we are about to about time about 10 p.m. Is there uh, another last question that you may like to pause? Uh, 差不多要十点了，你们还有谁有什么最后的一个问题要问的吗？ Jingwang 今天, my main purpose is to introduce some of the key concepts of the ancient wisdom. Uh, it's, not it's not just applicable in terms of how we can uh, prevent the virus attack, but it can be applied to all situations, whether you're healthy, not healthy. If you're healthy, then you want to keep improving your immune system. Uh, if you, for those who are not healthy, have some health challenges, whether you have a cancer, Parkinson, or your child is autistic, the same principle apply. The whole purpose is to uh, to enable the, the true qi movement in your body. When the true qi can movement, since there are no more questions, uh, I suggest we end our session tonight. Perhaps next Sunday we can continue. And for those who are curious, want to know more, you are most welcome to join my uh, video training program, whereby uh, it is uh, published in English and Chinese. And you can study more the detail. Good night. Presently, these are the video courses on Yellow Emperor's Inner Classic available at Udemy Learning Platform. Food therapy for the unique you with your own body constituent. Meridians, Qi exercises, and other self-help healing methods. Organs functionality, what Western medicine does not know. Five element theory. Build relationship of parts for holism. Qi is mystery unfolded. Five essential human life variables. Philosophy, yin yang theory, and application. Health from head to toe. Breast and breast cancer. Health from head to toe. Brain, Parkinson, dementia, stroke. You can find the links to these video courses at my blog www.360q.com Tamuchenwe 黄帝内经课程饮食学说与体质
玄妙的气，生命的五个根本变量。阴阳学说，这些广以应用，从头到脚说健康，乳房与乳癌。从头到脚说健康，头与头脑，帕金森、痴呆症、中风，你可以在我的播客 w w w c n s 3 6 0 q c o m 上找到这些视频课程的链接。